Alright, this is just a quick little recording to show the clue. It is written in Java. You can see a little bit of the code here. Um, Alright. As you can see, it goes through the main menu, just like the original game. Or rather, title screen. Here's a bit of debugging, just to show that it isn't the original game. Uh, these aren't all the variables at play, of course, but there's some of the important ones. Another thing I have implemented is chat. Uh, of course, uh, it's a little cut off right now. It's not really meant to be exactly where it is, but regardless, it's in use for multiplayer. So fading messages when people type. Alright, so anyway, uh, going to the game, go through the options, we got the volume, we got, we can turn debug on from here, we can set all the controls, change the action to say backsplash, and back to enter, settings, I just got a couple settings here. Teleport players. That's where if uh, if you do suggest somebody, they'll teleport to the room that you suggested them in. Interrogate search as self. Uh, you need that on if you're going to play like with one or two players. That means if you do do an interrogation, and you have a card that you are using in your interrogation, if this is off, you'll say the chat of Oh, that's an interesting scenario, even though technically you know it's impossible. However, it's if it's on, you'll tell yourself, uh, "Oh yeah, we don't we have one of these cards." Obviously, it's an interesting scenario. If you play, you know, one or two players, you need this on because no matter what, you're going to be searching yourself all the time, and you might forget you have a card, and you need to have the it's an interesting scenario only played if, obviously, you don't have the cards. Uh, overlap chat is just that thing I was talking about. Overlap chat. That's where I turn that off and on. Um, now you can play hot seat, but for this I'm just going to show the network. I'll start up another copy of the game just to interact with it. Uh, host, go on the other one, go on join. Uh, start. Okay, so connected players 2, I just have it raised by 1 to show that the server is uh, one of these players. So we're ready to go my character. Now just a quick overlap here. You can see it changes on both. It is networking. Okay, pick the character. Now, as that says, you are currently in an instance version of the card screen. This means each player has their own cards that they're being shown at this given point in time. So you don't need to click on each individual one and, you know, hide from anybody uh, viewing your cards. And as it does say, press escape when ready. Let's see if I press escape on this one. It'll say status is set to ready. 
Now, if I press escape again, it tells me who is not ready, which is you know, obviously this player. Now, if I press ready, all players are ready starting game. Now, of course, this plays like the regular game. You can also go back to cards. When you go to cards during the game, this is what is seen for the other player. Just nothing. Can't press any buttons. Okay. So just play the game like usual. Now, I did make it so from this spot you can't move to the right, which is, uh, it was that way before, but I have made special exceptions so you can only walk through a door if you are right in front of it. Uh, another interesting thing is all this debugging information, the map, each individual tile, that sort of stuff. Now, you, you can't actually cheat and see what the winning cards are. I, I, you know, obviously could implement that, but haven't, for obvious reasons. Okay, and we go in. Now, with teleport players on, which is by default on, I can bring Mrs. White to the lounge. I'll shoot the... As you can see, the boxes here are a little off-centered, but, yeah, you get the point. The game was working fine, but I ended up toying with it last minute, of course. So, now here, I don't actually have all of the background images or animations, so it's just placeholders. And text is not yet. I haven't really messed with that. Uh, White did not have the rope. As you can see, it's just a little delayed, just so I'm obviously due to the network, but it ends up working pretty well. As you can see, Mrs. White is now in that room. Now, if I'm going to do an interrogation, of course, I can move Mrs. White somewhere else. say hall now this is just placeholder text I haven't really done any flavor text or anything like that to individualize any situations and like I said <laughs> where the um, animations are haven't been specific to location just yet I have all the variables down, I just have to manually uh, move the character around for every given room, which is a pain in the ass. And, like I said, don't have all the animations, so woman grabbing revolver obviously don't have just yet. And text unfortunately cut off at the end there. I have proof. But in general, it's very playable, obviously. Just see, we couldn't find the GIF. We don't have a female revolver GIF. Now, there is, of course, passages to conservatory, just like normal. The gameplay is just like normal. It's just uh, graphically, there's some tidbits that aren't exactly the same. So, um, other than that, go to the game. You can do an accusation just for shits and giggles. Uh, let's see. Nothing much was going on at the study. Peacock was fumbling around in the study. Peacock grabbed, uh, did not grab the knife. Evidently, don't have female knife animation either. Incorrect guess. There's evidence you are wrong. Game over. <laughs> Not really sure why it showed animation from Lusty there. And so, yada yada yada, game continues. Uh, 
So this is written from the ground up with Java. I've not used any of the original assets besides the music. I have direct ripped that from the game. I couldn't rip any uh, sort of uh, logic or uh, pictures, unfortunately, which is why I'm missing so many. I've had to just manually crop them out with screenshot tools, which is just more hassle than it's worth. So that's that.